Hey, grown folks, Donna Smith, a.k.a. Lady D. I'm here with another grown folk topic of discussion for each and every one of you. Now, we talked about this the other day in my forum on Facebook, and I just wanted to bring this forth in video form because it was so interesting. You know, it was a situation about a woman who gave her all in her relationship. She loved her man like no other. She was um, not selfish in her loving and giving. She was down. She was loyal. She was committed. She was accommodating. I mean, she was beautiful. She was the perfect woman in his eye eyesight at one time or another. And for some strange, odd reason, which it does happen to even the, 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 the good women, the beautiful women, it happens where they get left. And so this particular woman was left by this man. He left her and he went to be with another woman. Now, he gave her all this nonsense and reasons about why we can't be together no more. And they were all just excuses, big excuses. But he ended up finding a way to discourage her and hurt her to the point where she just knew that it was no way that that relationship was going to work out. So he left her and he went to another woman. Now, not only did he go to another woman, but he went to another woman of another race. And for some reason, once this woman found out after the fact, months and months later, when she found out that the union with the other woman was around the same time he broke up with her, she was devastated. She didn't know how to, to really take all that in and it hurt to the core even more because not only did he leave her for another woman he left her for another woman of another race now my question is does it really make a difference if you're left you're left right and it doesn't always mean that you wasn't fitting the bill that you were not this right woman or right man, because this could happen either way. It doesn't mean that you were falling short or you gave them a reason to do what they did. They just did what they did. Okay? But why does it make a difference when they do it with someone of another race? Do women feel, say for instance, example, if you're in an African-American relationship and your man leaves you for uh, a woman of a Hispanic race. And that's just using an example. It could be white. It could be any race. But it was a, a race other than black. Your man leaves you for that woman. Would it hurt to the core even more that he left you for another race? I mean, isn't the bigger picture that he left you for another woman in the first place? And if you, being a woman or even a man, is not totally intact with self and your own self-esteem and your own doings and recognizing that you are the bomb, that could affect you in a major way. And my question is, you know, there are some who go back and forth with this, you know, I was left, they left me, I'm leaving them, whatever the situation is. Does it mean that you are inadequate or not a good mate or just wasn't really stimulating where they did go there. And if they do leave you for another race, is that really a kick in the shin? If a woman of color left her man of color to be with a white man, how would that brother feel? Would he feel as though she did that in terms of looking for something better, she thought, or wanting someone with a better status, she thought. 
wanting someone who would be more um, astute to whatever it is that she wanted or needed in any way, per se. I mean, why do we look upon it differently when it is being left to go with someone of a different race? Does it really make a difference other than they left? And apparently they left for their own personal reasons, usually, you know? I'd like to know what you guys think about that. Have you ever been through that? Do you know someone who's going through that? What advice would you give a young lady or a young man who was faced with a situation as that? You know, what advice would you give them in regards to race? Does it really matter? Does it? I want to know. Hit us back. We waiting to hear.